Hi there, welcome to an MA77 design tutorial. We're going to be looking at Photoshop CS6 uh, for this tutorial. Um, we are still running CS6 in a beta version, but by all means the uh, tools that we've seen on it are extremely impressive and it looks like the whole uh, Creative Suite package, especially the way that Adobe have uh, bundled it and, and priced it, it's going to look an extremely attractive uh, proposition. Uh, what we're going to look at in uh, specific terms today is the uh, content aware tool and we're going to be looking at how to eradicate uh, problem uh, problem pieces in our photos. Obviously our photos aren't always uh, picture perfect and they will need a little bit of touching up so we'll jump straight in. Um, this picture that we've got here is just a, a picture of uh, a parking space. Uh, I know it's not the most imaginative of photos, but uh, it shows kind of uh, what we're after and what we're trying to do here. So what we have to do, we just have to open the image, and you want something that you want to try and get rid of. And this is uh, by no way um, a tool that will work 100% of the time. You may have to do a little bit of a smudging and blaring, or even sharpening afterwards to uh, to get the image perfect. But this is by sure, uh, a real real good way to start. So, okay, we've got our image, and what we are going to do is just select the uh, lasso tool, and we are roughly uh, going to eradicate this line. So we just keep on dragging, try and keep it an even distance. I'm using a mouse, so it's a bit difficult, and we'll get rid of this blob here. Keep it all the way down, and then I just want to get rid of that splatter there, and draw parallel all the way up and then we could just release and it will close the lasso tool for us okay so this is the area here that we want to get rid of and it's real simple we just go edit click fill or shift and f5 and then we make sure that content aware is selected uh, we don't need to adjust any of the blending options click ok and then give the machine a couple of seconds um, the machine's running extremely slow so you'll have to bear with it but the results I'm sure will be absolutely brilliant okay we're waiting a little bit more than expected uh, the new engine that's in Photoshop means that it does things a lot quicker but uh, my machine's running at a slow pace okay and there we have it if we do control D to deselect uh, you can see that the line is no more really um, there is a couple of little issues with the uh, with the lighting and the copying of the uh, the image the new image that's been put in but at the end of the day it's not a bad start it's uh, it's quite useful as a tool and you can even then zoom into uh, specific areas to say I want to get rid of some of these blotches here we can just go on the lasso tool again just go round this circle here uh, edit fill content aware again it should work a little bit more quicker and there you go we can see that it's got rid of that mark so if you want to touch up um, some things this is a real quick tool to get started okay so we've done our first example there which is not too bad our second example uh, this was a walk that I uh, done on Boxing Day uh, last year uh, this is the River Weaver in Cheshire uh, we can see it's it's not a bad photo. There's a couple of things there that we may want to get rid of. Okay, so first off, uh, I want to have a little look at these clouds up here. Um, I don't mind them, but there's this one here I, I want to kind of get rid of. I just want to have this main one a little splatter around. So, yeah, again, we just do our suitable. We don't have to do any layer options. We can just go all the way around so close it edit fill content aware give it a couple of seconds and it's gonna fill the area it's done a real good job there it's got rid of that cloud there okay so I'm happy with these clouds here I don't want to go into too much details uh, the thing that I don't like though is this shadow there's a shadow of myself there and there's a shadow of a, uh, a power line I want to get rid of that so I'm just gonna zoom in to the base of the shadow pick the lasso, uh, lasso tool again and I'm just gonna click and drag 
all the way up. And if we use space bar, we can pan up as well. And we're just going to do it quite roughly. And then when we come to the water's edge, just go across and then round and down. I do have quite poor control as I am using a mouse. Ideally, I'd like to be using my graphics tablet. This is just a quick example. Draw the line and then release. So we have our full area that we want to fill. Yet again, edit fill, shift F5, content aware, give it a couple of seconds, and it samples from around the bounding box and it fills the inside of it. Uh, it's just taking a little bit longer. Nearly there. And there we have it. It's got rid of the shadow. It's even maintained the slight profile uh, of the slope here on a slightly raised bank, but it's got rid of that. Uh, sorry, it's maintained that. It's got rid of the shadow, which is pretty cool. And then it's up to you, but if you want to go a little bit further, uh, we want to leave our little duck friend here, but I want to get rid of this rather unsightly traffic cone or lane divider and it doesn't matter whether um, you have like a split between land and water or between colours if we just do another lasso around there same again it will read both of it and it will draw an imaginary line okay so the riverbank isn't going to be perfectly straight it'll have undulations but photoshop will randomize those and it looks pretty good do control zero to zoom out there we go an edited image which is absolutely brilliant it's exactly what we're after and i've gone over the content aware tool with you um it's really good to get rid of things that you don't want on your image um, you can use the clone uh, clone tool but sometimes it's a little difficult uh, painting and repeating it and this is by far uh, the quicker way of doing it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, you can find many more on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to like us on www.facebook.com slash ma 7 sorry ma 77 design or twitter.com slash ma 77 design uh, Or you can click the links below. We hope to see you soon and take care.